So first, oh, of course, I'm Mr. Patterson, I'm the school principal, and I have the opportunity now to pass a few more sage words onto our eighth grade class. They've had to listen to me a lot this year. Sometimes they've enjoyed it, sometimes they haven't. But I got a few more words just for tonight. There's a story told about a, a man that was walking by um, some elephants that were in training. Now, the elephant, these giant elephants, were being held by a small rope. A small rope tied into a stake. Now, elephants are powerful. I watched as a kid when the circus would come to town, these elephants would grab these 80 foot posts and they would pull them with thousands of pounds of tent to make those giant big top tents go up. So the man stopped and he asked the trainer, he said, why doesn't that elephant just walk away? It's so much stronger than that rope. And the trainer said, when they're small and they can't break away, we put that very same rope on them and they try to get away. But then it becomes implanted in their mind that they can't. And so when they're big, they don't even try. They just stay tied to the post. So what I want to say to you, my eighth graders, our eighth graders, don't allow anyone to tie you to the post. They're going to try and tie you to the post. They're going to say, oh, those kids from the Inland Empire, they can't do that. That kid from that family, they can't do that. Those kids aren't smart enough. They don't have enough resources. They're, they have these disadvantages. Don't allow anyone to tie you to the post. As I've said before, I want you guys to be strong. I want you to be powerful. I want you to go and do things that other people can't, can't do. Right now, today, someone just got an inheritance of millions of dollars, and by next year, it'll be gone. And someone else will show up in our country with $5, and in 10 years, they'll have more than all of us. Opportunity is real, but it's through the power of choice, individual choice, that you can be excellent. You guys have to hear my Patterson's rules. And I, was, I don't really actually know what the numbers are, I just say it. So this is Patterson's rule number 26. The challenges in life are far less important than the people that meet those challenges. Patterson rule number 29. There's two types of people in this life. People who go to the party and people who are the party. So be the party. And finally, a bad decision is a bad decision no matter how old you are. Just because you got older, it doesn't mean that bad things are going to make good things happen. So always try to make good decisions. And finally, and I always tell the kids this, in 20 years when we're walking around and hopefully I see you, I'm going to look at you and I'm going to say, are you happy? And I want you to look at me right back in the eyes and say, Mr. Patterson, I'm happy because I'm a free walking elephant. <laughs> and, as, and like I said, and this is customary. Whenever I speak to the kids, I tell them this. Remember that you are made of good stuff. Your parents, your school leaders, we love you. You are made of good stuff. Never let anyone tell you that you can't or you won't, because you will and you can. Thank you. All right, next up, I'd like to inv invite Miss Victoria Pena, our class president. She is going to address us.
Thank you all for coming to the promotion for New Vision Middle School's Class of 2023. For those who don't know me, my name is Victoria Pena, and this year I have had the pleasure of being the Student Leadership President for our school. I'm so excited that we have all made it to the end of this school year and are moving on to the next chapter in our lives. When we started our eighth grade year, we were met with harder assignments and high expectations. It's understandable because we were the eighth graders. Not only were we expected to set an example for our peers, but we were also expected to do our work to the best of our ability. And seeing from how it looks today, we met those expectations. No matter how hard the math test was, or how detailed the English essay had to be, we all managed to persevere and are ready to take the step from middle school into high school. We started the beginning of our middle school journey in a pandemic, and I'm sure that in-person to online transition led to many bumps in the road, whether it be academically or even mentally. Um, looking back at the past and looking at where we are now, it shows that those bumps in the road helped lead to the path that we are all on today. A path that has been made of perseverance, hard work, and dedication. A path that is leading each of us towards the next big thing in our lives. I keep on mentioning perseverance because throughout middle school, I've learned that perseverance is something that you always need to have. Not just through middle school, but throughout our entire lives. Stressful occurrences are constantly going to happen throughout our lives, and I can say from first-hand experience that without perseverance, you can feel helpless or stuck. I went through a health scare about a year ago that was caused by stress, and being able to overcome that, even though it was difficult, shows that perseverance helps our efforts pay off. Seeing as we are all at promotion today, it shows that we have all managed to persevere through all the difficult things we may have encountered throughout our eighth grade year, and be prepared for what will happen in our first year of high school. Entering high school may be exciting for some, and nerve-wracking for others, but I know that each of us has what it takes to excel at whatever it is we put our minds to. Speaking of excelling, I wanted to give a big thank you to this year's eighth grade teachers who helped us all to excel. Ms. Crump, Mrs. Jocelyn, Mrs. Chavez, Mrs. Christensen, Mr. Glenn, Mr. Armstrong, and Ms. Oliva, I think I can speak for everyone when I say thank you so much for all of your encouragement and support for not just me, but for my fellow classmates. Whether it came down to academics or completely unserious conversations, you're all always ready to help or give an opinion. I also wanted to give a big thanks to Mr. Hurd, who not only taught me last year, but this year as well. And I can't forget to thank Ms. Munoz, who, um, with her kindness and everything throughout these past years that she taught me, um, I'm grateful for her. Um, I also wanted to thank our school staff, who are very helpful in times of need, not to mention our head and vice principal, Mr. Patterson and Ms. Richardson, who were always giving us the tools that we needed to succeed during our time at New Vision Middle School. I also wanted to thank my classmates, friends, and peers, um, for helping me make great memories throughout my eighth grade year. I also wanted to give an honorable mention to the other eighth grade members on our leadership team, as well to the other students who participated in leadership, because many things throughout this year wouldn't have been possible without them. I also wanted to thank our previous school counselor, Mrs. Wachtel, for her kindness, her guidance with student leadership, and her being an amazing person overall. Finally, I want to thank my family, for their continuous love and support throughout my entire life. And the things that I have been able to accomplish would not be possible if it weren't for their love and support. I feel that being a part of student leadership has been a great experience. Being able to contribute towards activities at my school was definitely an amazing experience. And I hope that my efforts were enough to make a lasting impact on our school for the upcoming classes in the future. Speaking of the future, just by looking around me, I can tell that we all have bright futures ahead of us, and this is just the beginning of all the amazing things that we're going to do. Thank you for your time. I hope that everyone has an awesome summer, and hopefully I'll see some of you next year.
I want to make a few acknowledgements um, before we get started with the, the presentation of the promotees. Number one, we want, and we want to have you stand, Ms. Richardson, our assistant principal. <laughs> Mrs. Jefferson, our assistant superintendent. <laughs> Ms. Christensen, our Spanish teacher. <laughs> Ms. Chavez, our math teacher. <laughs> Ms. Kirk, our social studies teacher. <laughs> Ms. Jocelyn, our language arts teacher. And then also, from the, from the students, we have our two valedictorians here, and they're gonna be receiving a medal as they walk up on stage today. But I wanna have our two valedictorians stand up, Adam Apesh and Victoria Pena. Thank you. And then also our two salutatorians, Miranda Garcia Ramond and Rafael Quintero Diaz. Alright, now we will again begin with the presentation of the certificates. Row A. Sheila. 
Mrs. Cooney Honor Roll. Dominic Cortez. Demonte Cox. Anthony Cruz Ray. Robert Cruz Honor Roll. Junior De La Cruz, Principal Roll. Emily De La Cueva. Mars Dorado. Aiden Durong. Antonio Fernandez. Miranda Garcia Roman, Salutatorian, Principal's Honor Roll. Angel Garcia. Alondra Godinez, honorable. Aiden Golden. Dominic Golden.
Rashid Ibrahim Callaghan.
Ortega. Joe Marquecho.
Shelby.